Hi friends, this is me Galina. But you obviously see not Galina, this is a very familiar face, right? This is Merdan, our other Education USA storyteller. And today I would like to talk about the student finances. But you probably are thinking why we're seeing Merdan. Hmm. Well, that's not coincidence because there we go. I visited his university and asked to give some advice and see his college and friends with whom I also friends because we are from the same country. Merdan! Yes, it's traditional to feel it's green. Mohammed, how are you? You know people today? Hello, my name is Basan Abdeva and I am from Mari, Turkmenistan. I am junior at MSC Billings and I'm studying political science and Spanish. I just wanted to share how I am financing my school at MSC Billings. Um, MSU, MSUB has different kind of scholarships for international students. I know that if your GPA is quite high, you can get automatic $10,000 as Explore Montana scholarship or you can get Yellowstone scholarship which is thousand dollar each semester there's also global leadership scholarship it's for two thousand five hundred dollars if you are a leader on campus even though we get a lot of scholarships at MSU Billings sometimes it's not enough to fund the whole whole year's um, budgeting so I usually work at MSU Billings dining hall and which helps me to save some money and pay for my school I am resident assistant on campus, which helps me to pay for housing and meal plan. Also, I'm working as student activities board uh, executive member secretary, which has stipend of $500 a, a semester. I also wanted to give you an advice on how to do a better budgeting. So United States has a lot of opportunities to buy different kinds of things um, that probably you've never seen in Turkmenistan. So, Try to have savings account and put all your money there so you don't spend it from your checkings account. So like when I have a bank account and if I know that I have money, I am very shopaholic and I try to spend money on different things. That's why I recommend you to have savings account where you will put your savings so you don't spend all your money on anything. Hi guys, my, my name is Meridan and um, I'm one of the social media storytellers, Galina's teammate, and, <laughs> and uh, I have two um, like financial advice for you guys. The first one would be the emergency fund. Like it's very important to have emergency fund when you are in a foreign country, especially when you are a student. And what I mean by emergency fund is to keep in your bank account a certain amount of money for example the worth of monthly expenses or six month expenses or even 12 months expenses so just save up money and keep that uh, keep that money worth of like 12 or six months expenses in your bank account all the time so that if something god forbid happens you have um, you'll be able to kind of survive and be able to leave for an entire year on the money while you are solving your problems or whatever you have. And the second thing is that um, it's more important how you spend money rather than how you make money. No matter how much money you make, if you spend your money on um, some silly things or things that you don't need, you will always be, um, you know, you'll always have a short amount of money. So try not to spend on, on things that you don't need because it's very dangerous here in United States, especially to buy things because it's easy. It takes like two minutes to buy things online or to, to go and buy because they have, they have everything and you can do it easily. So try not to spend money on, so control that, control your spending money no matter how much you make, you'll be always better off. Yeah, that's, that's my true. that's my two tips. Hit that button. Just kidding. <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mirdan. That was really useful suggestions and advice from you. Yeah, of course, of course. You're awesome. It's
snow. Yeah, beautiful. It's cold though. <laughs>